This video here shows how to use the discussion thread feature that's in Slack, uh, which is not intuitive and sometimes not even obvious. Uh, I'm in the auto conversion blog RSS feed. Uh, these posts come from the blog when something's published. And you can see the data of the, of the posting. What's not obvious is when, is, is when you reply. Most people are inclined to um, reply here. And that just basically creates a whole new thread. If you put your mouse over the, the, the thread, the post, there is a, a reply and thread feature here. And this is where, this is where, <laughs> where you can reply. Now you can also have that go into the main discussion thread and it'll actually provide a link back to, the, back to this thread. So uh, it's not necessary. So let's try it both ways. This is where you can reply to the thread, right? And I'm gonna hit go, hit there. And so now what you see is there's one reply. This is a whole different thread. See that? It's a whole different thread. So now we're gonna to reply to this thread and say replying to thread and also checking box to send to channel. So I'm gonna check that box. There's the post and you see the instant, you see the reply and then it posted here, replied to. So if you're gonna come up here to something historical and hit reply, if you check that box, it'll put it back down here, okay? And then if someone presses it, actually I think you have to hit this. Yeah, you view thread, you go right in there. So like I said, it's not obvious, it's not even intuitive, but that's how you can find it.